what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on how to grow out your curly hair well first I want to start off by saying thank you guys for 15k you guys are awesome you guys are wonderful and thank you for all the love and to all the new subscribers welcome 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 and thank you for subscribing and showing your interest in my videos <laughs> my very first tip to helping your curly hair grow is to let it breathe you might be asking yourself what does that mean Nazareth well I'm gonna tell you what that means Basically, letting your hair breathe means you need to cleanse your scalp very, very well when you're washing it. You need to let your pores and your scalp breathe. You need to wash off all that excess product that we pile on in our hair to make it all curly and to make it all healthy and to make it all shiny. We definitely need to make sure you clean your scalp very well because if you just keep building on and building on, products on your scalp it's going to prevent new hair growth so you're, it's gonna stunt your growth basically and it's just going to make your hair unhealthy and it's going to make your hair feel very very heavy and very just it's gonna clog up all the pores all up in there so be very careful with that it's easier to shampoo just up here just you know massage your scalp very well scratch all off all off. scratch all those excess products off and then let the rest of the shampoo just kind of wash down and clean the ends of your hair and that's how you prevent damage also from shampooing um, which is something that curly girls really don't like to do often but it's necessary for the overall health of your hair your hair needs to be clean in order for it to thrive and continue Tip number two, it's what you're feeding your hair. Yeah. It's, a little, it's like treated like a little monster that needs to be fed, fed every so often. So what you're feeding your hair is extremely, extremely important. The products that you're using in your hair, what you are, you are eating, like you as, as a human, not, not the hair, the human. What you're eating and what you're not eating. It's very important to hair growth. You need special vitamins for your overall health. You have to be careful on what you're putting into your body, but you also have to be aware of what you're not putting into your body. So I do suggest if you want supplements for hair growth, um, to ask your doctor or you can take biotin biotin is really good when it comes to helping your nails and your skin and your hair um, there's some success stories and there's some stories that are not successful I've taken biotin before and it really honestly I haven't seen the difference all it did was break my skin out but that's just me that's one story that's one body that's different you can try it out for yourself. Obviously, if you're going to take any supplements, ask your doctor. Or you can take Hairfinity, which I've seen a lot of success stories with Hairfinity. And also, your water intake is extremely, extremely important for everything. Water is, is magical. It's magical. Like, you have to know what you're feeding your hair. When it comes to products, there are certain products that are very harsh on hair, especially for curly hair. You have to be very careful what products you're using on your hair. I do suggest that you read the ingredients and make sure that you can actually read the ingredients. By that I mean like make sure you understand some chemicals like that are going into your hair. That's why I always stick to Shea Moisture. That's why I always stick to like products that have coconut. Uh, oil in them because I know coconut oil is extremely amazing for the health of your hair. If you want to buy extra products, you can also use oils. So coconut oil is amazing for your hair. Olive oil is awesome for your hair. So tea tree oil helps your hair and with hair growth. And if you're losing lots of hair, if you're shedding hair, or if you're seeing like bald spots on your head, tea tree oil is extremely, extremely good. So like I said before, 
what you feed your hair is very very important and i will list down below in my description um different products that i didn't mention in the video that you can use for hair growth and tip number three for me would be trimming your hair i know i know you're trying to grow it out why would i cut it you have to cut all those bad ends believe it or not even if you're done with your hair journey even if you don't have an ounce of like like damage or heat damage in your hair or like hair relaxer in your hair your ends still get dry and still get damaged and still weigh your hair down a lot and it actually does stunt your grow your growth it does it does stunt your growth I can't speak English um last time I cut my hair was in November um I cut about three inches um myself <clears throat> I did it I'll post a picture around here of what it looked like and there is a big difference of how much my hair has grown since then um but yeah, it's very important to cut your hair. Um, once you cut your hair and cut all, cut off all those dead ends and those like just dead pieces of hair that if that happen, even if you take care of your hair like, like, like you're just on top of your your hair care and everything like that, it will happen. Your hair will get damaged in the ends. It happens, and we have to take care of it. And you don't have to cut off a lot. You just cut off like an inch or two it's not that much and trust me it will grow so much quicker and so much healthier than what it was when it was like all long and straggly tip number four would be learning how much your hair grows and learning about your hair educating yourself on your hair so basically what this means is kind of observing your hair if you see that you did all those other steps you cut your hair um you're treating it treating it like how it, it's supposed to be it's healthy it's doing everything but it grows maybe at a slower rate or you don't see that much of a growth difference from the time you cut it to like where you are now then you have low growing hair it's not in your genetics for your hair to grow quickly or it's in your genetics that's what i'm trying to say if you see that your hair you're doing everything right but your hair is not growing or at a faster rate or not growing as long as you want it to be it's in your genetics for your hair not to grow to a certain length or just to grow to a certain length and once you learn that about your hair then it will be easier for you to wrap your mind around that your hair if it's not meant if it's not genetically embedded in you it will not grow down to your butt and there will be no supplements and there will be no remedies or anything that will make your hair grow down to your butt sometimes you just got to be content with what you have and just choose health over length anytime health over length is so important for you not to drive yourself crazy trying to achieve like length goals when your hair is not capable of doing that that's very important and then my last tip for you guys is just to be patient um if you're tr just transitioning into being a curly girl or being natural your hair is going to take a while to just grow to its full capacity why because it's, it's just been through so much and you know going through relaxers and straightening it all the time and using products that were not for your hair the transition from that to trying to get your hair to a healthy state and for your hair to understand and for your hair to fully be clear from all that damage you put on it it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a few months actually or years and you just have to be patient you can't drive yourself crazy thinking and overthinking oh my gosh i want my hair to be as pretty as this person this person and this person and this person you're gonna drive your, yourself nuts and that's going to bring your self-esteem down it's going to discourage you from wanting to continue this beautiful hair journey that you just embarked in and it's going to just drive you back to like i'm just gonna straighten my hair because it doesn't look like the ideal or how you want it to look like that's that's very important you have to have to understand 
your hair along the process and understand that maybe it's not gonna look like hers but it will still be beautiful well i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did please give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i hope that these tips help you guys a bit and remember i will link down some good products for hair growth and the overall health of your hair down below so you guys should check that out and all my social media are down below if you want to connect with me in like a deeper level on my instagram and on my twitter i just started off twitter i'm kind of lost but they have funny memes on there so always remember to love yourselves and i will see you guys on my next one Mwah.